July just days away. That means a lot of people on the road, so more opportunities for traffic crashes. Law enforcement leaders say there's one simple thing you can do to improve your chances of surviving a wreck, and that is to buckle up. Our investigative reporter Brendan Kirby looking at those numbers, joining us from the newsroom now with more. Hi, Brendan. Hey, Lenise. Well, of course, drivers should take extra care this week and avoid drinking and driving, but sometimes accidents occur even when you're driving safely. In those cases, a seatbelt is no guarantee, but the statistics do suggest that they improve your chances if you're wearing one. From the beginning of the year through the end of June, 108 people involved in fatal wrecks investigated by the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency died while they were wearing seat, uh, without wearing seatbelts. Rather, that's 30% more than the 83 who died while wearing seatbelts. Heidi King, deputy administrator of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, says the biggest concern remains drunken driving. The agency notes that almost 200 people died from alcohol-related traffic accidents during the 2016 Fourth of July period. So we see a spike in alcohol-related fatalities on these weekends, and oftentimes Fourth of July is the deadliest weekend of the year when it comes to alcohol-related fatalities. Wearing a seatbelt is the best defense against impaired driving, according to the agency. Traffic deaths have been declining in recent years. So far this year, 260 people have died in ALEA investigated crashes. That number, which includes pedestrians and people on motorcycles and bicycles, is running 19% lower than at the same point two years ago. Reporting live from the newsroom, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.